Alright, I'm going to show you how to get to the hard drive on an NC2400 laptop. This is an ultra portable laptop that uses a 1.8 inch uh, hard drive, so some of you may not be familiar with it. Let's go ahead and take the battery out first, of course. And then this is the uh, cover for it. Just two, sp two screws. Okay, and this is your hard drive right here. You'll need to remove these two screws. Okay, and then you'll need to remove these two screws as well. Okay, so once you've got these loosened up, the hard drive will come right out. You can see it there. Okay. Okay, now to get this part off, uh, I'm actually not taking this apart, but um, I'll show you how to do it. Uh, you'll need, you can use something like a pick or a fingernail. There's a piece of tape that goes right over the ribbon cable. And you just peel it off. Okay. Okay. So. A ZIF connector. I don't know if I can get it to focus on it, but you just pull it right out. Okay, now some, some of these things, if you're talking about motherboard connectors, things like that, some of them will pull up and some of them will, will push out, but for this one, you can just go ahead and, and pull it straight out. Uh, then to replace it, you do much the same thing. Just make sure you're putting it in the correct way. line it up with the edges and seat it and you can use this little piece of tape to kind of make sure you've got it secure and you'll kind of feel it snap down in there a little bit. Go ahead and smooth the tape over. Edge it in. Now this this uh, little mechanism here is a little bit tricky because you need to line up the screws uh, and then push it down and if you try and force it down with the screws you can wind up bending the little piece so take your time with it make sure that it is fully seated on the connector before you go uh, trying to screw it down so it'll, it, it will sit flat like this and then you'll need to screw it down some before you can fully push it down. So screw in one side a little bit and then another side a little bit and then push it in and you'll feel it push in and then go ahead and tighten up the screws again all the way. Okay. Then replace uh, the retaining bracket. this, and that's it. That's all you need to do. Alright, thanks for watching.